In this video, we're going to take a look at what's called stochastic games. Stochastic games are also sometimes called Markov games. The best way to think of a Markov game or a stochastic game is people playing games of chance in a casino. And there are lots of games at different tables. And once they play the game, depending on the outcome of what happens at a particular game, they'll move to another one. So here, for example, we have four games. These represent the states of our stochastic game. And we might have two players, they'll play game one, and they'll choose a particular strategy pair that will give them some utility, and furthermore will indicate the probability with which they move to a different state. And let's say they play it once, and the probability indicates that they stay at the first state. They play it again, they move to game four. They play game four, they move to game three, and that's the basic idea, that they keep on going around and around like this. And this is how we represent this. We see that these three strategy pairs here in this game um, make the players stay in the purple game. However, this strategy pair, which is actually gives quite a big reward to player two, has a probability with which they'd move to the second game. So with 0.3 probability, they'd move to the second game. In this game, there's no more utility, and the players can't get out of it. So in effect, and there's only the strategy spaces of size one, so this is kind of an absorbing game. So the utility to our players can be written down like this, where we assume that UI star is the player doing what's best at subsequent states. And we also assume players play this game infinitely, and so we have a discounting factor to take that um, on board. And so a Nash equilibrium would satisfy these two equations. We'll go over details in this in the class and see examples of how you actually solve these games.